Good evening to you all viewers, I'm Godwin Aki and thank you for joining me once again for another episode of House and Home. And to you all Australian families living in Papua New Guinea, a big Australia day to you all and enjoy your barbecues and your day. Since time is literally not on our side, let us get straight into our lineup, shall we? Well for tonight on House and Home, we have more of Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, Cooking with Goodman Fielder, Shopping with Brian Bell, the continuation of Animal Class in Kimbe, Cooking with the Next January edition, and finally, but sadly, the last ever episode of Healthy Living with Mila on House and Home. But the start of tonight, we join once again Chef Beare and Relin Felihau for the next 2016 January edition. He is cooking with the Neg. Good morning, natural viewers. Me, Chef Beare, me like to welcome back to 2016. Jinek cooking show on house and home. Long tonight, Mr. Want and Raylin, I'm sales supervisor on Jinek. Okay, Raylin, my music one and max, Laura's recipes blame me tonight. Thank you, Chef Barry. Hi, viewers. Good night and welcome again to tonight's Jinek cooking show for 2016. Tonight, we will be using Jinek egg 60 grams. Yes. Viewers, remember, Jinek egg is always fresh because it's locally produced here in Papua New Guinea. That's right. Jinek egg comes in five different sizes, ranging from 50 grams, 55, 60, 65, and 70 grams. Jinek eggs, they are available in all supermarkets nationwide. They are selling on a very good price that can meet your family budgets. That's why starting day blue one time, Jinek eggs, because I'm power protein, now power cake. Okay, viewers, now by me, go low. Recipe blame me, okay? Tonight, by me cooking basic ginger eggs, crepes, and lime. Okay, this lime one plus pancake recipe type, by me cooking. Okay, viewers, now by me go all the ingredients blame me, okay? Loya, me got one cup plain flour, one tablespoon sugar, one pinch salt, one cup milk. Okay, me got one banana here, ripe banana, me slicing pinis. Two tablespoons maple syrup. Okay, one plus lemon too, me slicing lemon, blue, give more flavor low. Ginek crepes blame me. Okay, we got two tablespoons of butter where we're using now. Cook. Okay, now we start starting now. Okay, first, we me put in frying pan low fire and I'm by hot stuff. Time hot stuff, by me add in plain flour, blame me go inside. Okay, sugar, little bit salt. Okay, we mix it one time. Okay, now by me add in. Two plus ginger eggs. Okay. You can look in quality blue ginger eggs, blame me. And we show in nice black color yolks. The minimum and pull up all proteins, vitamins, and the minerals. Okay. Now by me add the milk go inside. Okay. Tiny me see, see. Okay, some milk. Okay, me tiny musem. Okay, this lemon blood light. Crips by me walking, so you mean turn him good, so mixing flour and egg by mix both one time. Okay, you must walk yourself by running yourself. Okay. Look him, you can look him, you must run yourself. Okay. Now crips mix blame and ready now. By me add him tablespoon butter blame you going to say the frying pan now, frying pan blame him hot now. Okay. Okay, viewers. Now, French pan blame me by hot, but I made him ginger crepes blame me with it. Okay, ginger eggs, apart from you, cook or something, you can cook him low. Breakfast blue, any time of the day, you can cook with ginger eggs. Okay, you can work in scrambled eggs, boiled eggs, fried eggs, omelets, anything to start your day with ginger eggs. That's why we suggest using ginger eggs, because in power protein, the power cake. Okay, now oil blame him hot now. Let me add him crisp blame me go inside. Okay. 
Okay, now by me larry mem hot lilik, now by me thani. Okay, you can look him. In basic jine gek crips play me. Okay, jine geks, and me kiss him up wall on hot foundation, or say me me good lalo hot play me. So, choose him jine geks, all get a time. Okay, now I'm cooking so now by me thani, by me cooking nar plug in. Okay, this is the basic recipe. You can cook him for breakfast, lunch, or even dinner. If you're in a rush, or go to work, or sports, or whatever, you can cook him this recipe for starting day blue one time. Okay, viewers. Now you can look him. Gene Crips blame me and work will come up good now. Smell blame too and come up nice. Okay. You can look him. Now by me rouse him, by me cook him. Second one again. Same, by me add him. Little bit butter going set. Tan him also, let me hot also. Me add him. Mix blame me going set. Okay, me add a little bit more. Okay, now by me tan him. Second, Jenna Cripps play me. You can look him. Let me come nice golden brown. Because he means him Jenna Gates. Okay, viewers. Second, Jenna Cripps play me. I'm ready. So you can save him now. Okay, viewers. Now you can look him. Basic Jenna eggs and Cripps play me. I'm ready. Okay, me add him last ingredients. Let me banana. Buy me. Add it one time so it may give more flavor and a taste of gin and eggs, crepes, baby. Okay, we got lemons here. Okay, last ingredients. Let me sprinkle in maple syrup and good ingredients and some one time. It's the basic gin and eggs and crepes, baby. Okay, you can look him. Basic gin and eggs and crepes recipe. When we use him, gin and eggs, 60 grams. Okay, really? You got some little talk, little game, little viewers, little side, little gin and eggs. Okay, viewers, remember Zineg is a locally owned company and we have been supporting some number of organizations yes. like uh, City Missions here in Port Mosby, our Children's Ward in Port Mosby General Hospital and Engel General Hospital, we have been donating eggs. So viewers, always choose to buy Zineg eggs because it's locally produced. Okay, now by me testing basic Zineg eggs and crepes play me. Mm. Gina Gex, power protein, power cake guy. Yes, and that was Chef Barry and Raylin Felihau showing you all the next January dish. Thanks, guys. It looked very delicious, and I'll see you both next month. Now, coming up after the break, we join Dr. Ambi with more on Healthy Minds. Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi. Dr. Ambi, thank you so much for having me on the show with you. Anyways, last week we had a look at investing in our children, one of the best topics ever and to, to be expounded more by Dr. Ambi, that was, I believe you all learned something. And for tonight, we'll be looking at how to overcome failures. Of course, this is 2016 and everyone is looking ahead to have a mind, new mindset and working towards getting better and better in whatever field you're working in. And tonight, We'll have Dr. Ambi to help us talk about what failure is. Dr. Ambi, tell us a little bit about what failure is and how to overcome it. 
Trish, let me tell you, I was so excited to be with you again in this show. Because, yes. you know, like we missed each other for a while. I know. It like <laughs> yes. Well, you really wanted to know, because I know you really wanted to, the kids and the people to yes. get to know about failure. So you were after me. Let's talk about failure. You are not yes. wrong, Trish. I must say that. Well, what is failure? You know that uh, it's a lack of success, you know, or you can say non-success or non-fulfillment and condition or fact that is that you're not achieving uh, what you had a desire in. Now you like kissing this la one of my goal is stuff. Now you like kissing this la goal or dream stuff. Now you like kissing and then you don't get it at the end. You say, ah, uh ah, -uh, finish now, empty so. That's, that's where we that's talk right. about failure. Failure is the most important. Remember that it's a step in reaching the success. So viewers, when you have failed, be the happiest person. That's right. <laughs> is it? Because failure is the most important step uh, to reach the reaching the success. So, but it can be still feel very crushing. You know, the, it's a soul crushing experience. Right. You know, you like have to know when you go through the uh, su suffering, and it is a really, really soul crushing experience. And you don't look at it. Uh, don't look at the failure as an enemy. Because I'm try plus something, and by strengthening you, and when you overcome that, you, you don't get trapped into that failure and say, oh, I'm a failed person. No, because that is going to uh, bring you out. Don't look at the failure as an enemy, but he is going to strengthen you, make you wise, and you will be the most successful person in the world. There are many people who have gone through failures, have done great things in their lives. And I think also, Overcoming failure is about finding yourself, Trish. And also to start again, first you must overcome with a sense of failure. So look at it as a pro like example, like a, you can fail in a project or you can fail in a marriage. Am I thinking below you, me? Yeah? Yes. So am this last something, yeah? You might, we may make mistakes, but we have to accept the failures That's and you right. look at the mistakes and mm -hmm. get the relative, you know, relatively a good goal mm -hmm. and have a good strategic plan. And in the long term, you know that goal, long term goal, you may must look in below failure is to the ability and to adapt and thrive on you'll be successful. Right. Yes. Yeah, very true. Yes. You know, most of the time, certain people cannot comprehend the perception of mental illness because it, it causes them, you know, some people can't even accept the fact that they've failed. And, you know, like you said, failure is the way to success, right? Yes. So tell us a bit about, you know, what the signs and symptoms, how people can react to failures, you know. Some of the people, they can't accept failure and they get drowned in the misery. Can you tell us a bit about how we can approach it like positively? Yeah, yeah I know Trish, you said that the, so the emotions are important because people can become very depressed, people can become anxious, people can become suicidal. So, uh, you know, we need to now uh, learn about, like you said, we need some strategies to get out of this feeling failure so viewers don't feel that you have failed it has got a very important like trish said it affects the mind of the people and you can develop mental health issues so how can we overcome uh, this particular something called failure which is not negative i want to tell everybody is positive for you one is trish uh, to and also viewers feeling your way through the disappointment that means the feelings the emotion so when failure happens uh, how to overcome now the first thing you know that your emotions oh my goodness so you will get angry you will get upset tell me I'll tell you you have to feel your emotions and accept when you say feel your emotions because you're going to feel the disappointment something not right in your life and it makes you sad it makes you upset and don't hold your emotions when you hold the emotion it's going to have a negative impact you get high blood pressure blood sugar and heart attack and all these things I'm not going to frighten you yes it has got an effect so you need to feel that emotions the moment you feel in pennies you must accept that quickly and that is like accept what has happened 
don't run away and first you can be shocked disappointed and don't blame yourself don't blame others ah oh, those are all baby baby work i want to, this is the time you need to learn get up be strong now accept what has happened and write down all what you have felt write down little little notes and talk to a trusted friend or the somebody you love because that's the way you need time out you may be angry you may upset don't start fighting and become violence at home and you know how things can happen no take your time out just relax talk to a good friend go through that emotions that's number 1 Number 2 Trish and the viewers is thinking your way through the failure. First is emotion. Now thinking, "Am la narp la culprit, right?" Think thing here and come straight, I'll get us something. Think wrong and by go la narp la way. So one thing I want to tell, practice positive refraining. That means do, do not be afraid of anything. Example, if you did not want to the job or you didn't get the job you failed the job don't think that you fail or oh, i haven't got the uh, right job yet don't say i didn't get the job you you understand so it is like reframing your mind with the positive thinking uh, and perseverance until you get oh i will get it i'll go the prayer yes okay and, and the humor and laugh about it okay number 2 identify uh, negative thoughts and patterns and work on it to make it positive number 3 stop uh, ruminating that remind reminding yourself uh, bringing that negative things again and again and also I'm like it's a obsessive way or you can't stop thinking so uh, ruminating it says over and over again about the failure get out of it get the mind to mindful meditation and move on bring your mind to the present and stop worrying and keep on thing and number 3 you have to bounce back now so you make him all the identify the negative thoughts negative patterns make it all positive simple way finally bounce back address the cause of your failure don't repeat those kind of things again and what is mindful you put things the goal again and restart again possible solution rightful goal and rightful so set realistic goals and realistic solutions and practical solution with uh, you know with uh, optimistically and uh, change your approach and you know maybe our attitude go think thing and brainstorm ideas and try again thank you so much dr ambi you really helped us on how to overcome failures in our lives all right viewers i believe you've captured something and of course i'm sure you're going to pick up from there and please do not let the past dictate your future be optimistic about it approach every challenges that come your way positively all right thank you so much for joining us please don't forget to join us next time on healthy minds with dr ambi have a pleasant night healthy mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Thank you Dr. Ambi for that. Overcoming failures viewers are very important as it will structure you into being a great and wise person in your near future. We'll take a quick break and we'll join shopping with Brian Bell with Leon Gawi. Welcome back. Now Leon Gawi has something for you all for another episode of Shopping with Brian Bell. So take a look. Good evening. I'm Leon Gawi, your host, and welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell. Tonight we see a range of products that are versatile. So what is versatile? Versatile basically means something that is capable of many uses. And as you will see in tonight's segment, the different products that are capable of many uses are simply versatile. These are products that have one intended purpose, but can also be used for many other needs. 
So let's get started. The first product is our trusted and ever reliable Coleman Esky. Everyone knows that Coleman Esky keeps your drinks cool, but apart from that, this product has several other users. Features that are worth a mention is this cup or can holder and the durability of these Coleman Eskies. How does this make your Esky versatile? Well, for the local businessman or woman who sells their drinks and want to promote the variety of drinks they have in their Eskies, they can place samples on top of their Esky. Mothers at markets can sell the things on top of their Eskies like lollies and snacks, while their drinks are kept cool in their Esky. Using the Eskies as a table, giving them a wider range of customers. Now imagine this. You're at a party and everyone has a seat except you. Where will you sit? You don't want to stand there all night. So why not take a seat on your Coleman Esky? Not only does it keep your drinks cool, but it doubles up as an awesome seat. Our next versatile product is the microwave. This product is more than just an appliance to heat up cold food. It can also cook food and give you that edge when preparing ingredients, especially for baking. Take this sharp R22 AD microwave oven. With its slick look and easy press buttons, it's simple yet elegant. Apart from the obvious heating and reheating associated with microwave ovens, it can be used for cooking. With the appropriate cookware and your sharp microwave, you can prepare a savory healthy meal within minutes. Microwaves also help to defrost your frozen foods. Yeah, you told your son, daughter or Rallo to put out that mince for dinner and they forgot. But with this microwave, it can be defrosted within minutes and then you can start your cooking. Added advantages are the size, capacity of 20 liters and the ease of cleaning. With a wet cloth, cleaning can be done within a minute. The next product is this Sunbeam Mini Bacon Grill. This mini bacon grill is excellent to make quick meals or keep your food warm. It's easy to clean and has a timer that has an automatic off switch once the timer has expired. Baking and grilling is now more convenient and this product gives you the versatility of two functions in one portable appliance. It's easy to clean and move. An added aspect about this product is that it can be used for small businesses like a tucker shop to keep your hot pies and sausage rolls for selling. If you have a small catering business, this is an excellent option that can easily be moved to locations where you're catering and this will definitely be an asset to your small business. Our final product is the range of Willow and Star Made storage containers. These containers come in a variety of sizes that can cater to all your needs. There is an extensive range of containers ranging from 6 liters to the massive 80 liter container. Within this range there are also the rugged containers for your heavy duty work and stackable storage bins to the lockable containers with lids. If you think about it, this product can be used in all rooms in your house. It can hold clothes, food, chemicals, toys, electronics, shoes, you get it right? It's endless the versatility of this product. For example, with children sharing rooms, it's perfect to keep the spare towels and sheets stored in and kept under their beds. Or for keeping your cleaning agents away from children. This can easily be stored in these containers. With the lockable lids, it's ideal and childproof. Also, the plastic material makes this product durable and efficient. For the students at tertiary, secondary or primary school level, it's an excellent way to store your textbooks, past lecture notes and old books for future reference. On other occasions, these containers have been used for marketing purposes as an esky or storage options for foods like donuts and muffins or packs of foods like rice and stew or chips and chicken. It's easy to carry and its clear see-through material gives customers an indication of what is available. Now as you've seen tonight, not only are these products the best for their intended purpose, but they also have a dimension of utility about them, making them versatile products, giving you more value for your money. From our common eskies to the sharp microwaves, the mini bake from Sunbeam, and the handy containers, these products are versatile and backed up by Brian Bell's service and guarantee. And always remember, great prices, great products, that's Brian Bell. Good night and God bless. So that was Shopping with Brian Bell with Leon showcasing the versatile products at Brian Bell. So viewers, make sure you head down to Brian Bell Shopping Center and look up something to buy. Believe these products are worth it. There's more coming up after the break.
Good evening viewers and welcome once again to Cooking with Goodman Filder. Now for tonight I'm going to show you a very simple recipe that you and your family can make at home. Now the recipe for tonight is chicken stir fry with rice noodles. Our ingredients for tonight we have rice noodles, chicken breast, eggs, broccoli, onion, garlic and finally for seasoning we have salt and pepper. So what I'm going to do now is add my hot water. So this is going to be just left on the side for about 10 to 15 minutes. Give it a little shake. So I'll just pop this on the side. So the next thing I'm going to do now is chop up our chicken. So I've got two chicken breasts. I'm just going to slice this in half. So see how that's cut in half? Now that is called a butterfly. So this is a very simple recipe, it can fit about two people. So the reason why I'm flattening the chicken is to just make it flat so that when I'm cooking the chicken, it's cooked quickly. So now you wanna chop your chicken up into little pieces. So you can cut them in whatever angle you want. Now that our chicken pieces are ready, I'm going to go and start with the broccoli. So just chop up your broccoli into halves. So this is a very simple meal that, uh, meal that you can make at home. Uh, so to start with, we're going to use sunflower cooking oil and it's got, it contains a source of omega-6 which is good for your body so you might want to um, use this at home every time you're cooking. So just about 3 to 4 uh, tablespoons. Next thing I'm going to do is add my chicken pieces. Give it a stir. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add our broccoli in. Give it a mix. As you can see our broccoli is cooking, we don't want to overcook the broccoli because we want that crunch. So the next thing I'm going to do is add our seasoning. So now I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. A half a teaspoon of pepper. Give it a mix, give it a good mix. Mm, I can smell the flavors. Smells good. Now I'm going to add some garlic. Some onion. Give it a mix. So 
now that chicken and broccoli are ready, I'm gonna serve. I'm gonna serve this into a bowl. Now I'm gonna use, um, again, sunflower cooking oil. So just a teaspoon of uh, oil. And now I'm gonna crack two eggs. Give it a quick mix. Now we're going to add our chicken and broccoli. Give it a mix. So you just want to mix all the ingredients together. Now we're just going to add um, our whole Brooks uh, sauce. It's about four tablespoons. And now we add our rice noodles which I've already drained. So we add our rice noodles. Give it a mix. Okay, now our chicken stir fry with rice noodles is ready to serve. And there you have it, your chicken stir fry with rice noodles, a very simple recipe that you can make at home for your family. Until next time, thanks for watching Cooking with Goodman Filder. It's bye for now. Now the week before last, Mark showed you what Mahoni and Nadari Research Centre does over in Walindi, Kimbe, West New Britain province. Now let us take a look at what Mark has found in the Marine Conservation Bay. Hi viewers and welcome to another Animal Plus edition. Now last week we looked at the Mohani and Adari Marine Conservation Center located here in Kimbe. But for this edition, we will look at the underwater wildlife located here in Kimbe as well. As you can see, we are here at Walindi Beach. It's a bit low tide right now, but in a few hours, the water's gonna come back in and I will take you guys on a journey out into the deep blue ocean of Kimbe to see what lurks beneath. So what is marine conservation? Marine conservation is also known as marine resource conservation and is the protection, 
and preservation of ecosystems in oceans and seas. The conservation targets restoring damaged marine ecosystems and preventing human-caused damages to the marine ecosystems. Hence the existence and operation of Mohani and Nadari Conservation Centre for over 20 years in Kimbe, West New Britain province. Kimbe Bay is one of the first marine conservation bay found in Papua New Guinea. Students who come in for the courses offered, as mentioned on the show last week, are seen taken out, as the locals regularly put it, to Kimbe Bay to do their practicals. They study all kinds of underwater animals and plants and make a research finding upon their discoveries. But I for one am excited as I will be doing something similar but have fun while I'm at it. Thank goodness this part of dolphins came our way to bless our journey. In fact, whales, sharks and these dolphins breed and feed in these waters because it is such a safe sanctuary for them and all alike. As you've seen, we've left Walindi Beach. We are now here at Restoff Island. We're gonna head out into that deep blue over there just to uncover those natural marine wildlife that lives within. And let us see if you can spot some familiar fishes that you know of. Now, before we get into the deep blue of Kimbe Bay, let us explore what other sea creatures are lurking beneath the waters of Restoff Island. Here is one creature, the clownfish, and this guy is pretty upset that I am swimming in his territory, so I might just let him be and I will swim away. But apart from the clownfish we have here, there are about 820 species of fish that live in the waters of Kimbe Bay. Now let us head off into the dark blue of Kimbe Bay and see what can be found there. There are a lot of bigger fishes out here that swim around in schools. Other big fishes include this school of barramundis. They are also known as Asian sea bass. There are also lenty fishes that can grow up to a whopping 1 to 3.9 meters long and they are highly used as commercial fish. Therefore preserving and protecting them is very important. The king of Kimbe Bay is none other than our reef tiger shark. These sharks are very vicious predators and can grow up to about 5 meters long and several meters wide. They are exceptional swimmers. But the honest truth about them is that they are absolutely harmless when left alone and minded their own business. This brings us to the olive brown sea snake. The olive brown sea snake has structures known as photoreceptors on its tail which can detect light. Like other sea snakes, the olive brown sea snake has glands in its mouth that allow it to excrete excess salt. The olive brown sea snakes are very friendly creatures and when curious, they will only swim up to you just to observe and then swim away right after. Now look at the beautiful coral reefs. Aren't they magnificent? Moreover, Kimbe Bay is part of the Coral Triangle in the world and home to an incredible 76% of the world's coral species. Now that is something that we should be proud of. There you go viewers, the untouched marine wildlife located here at Kimbe Bay. And remember viewers, conservation is very important to both animals living on the land and in the sea as it is important to help them keep prospering and flourishing more throughout all generations. And all this wouldn't be possible without the help of Walindi Plantation Resort. A big thanks to them. And with that, I'm Marco Nagenia and this has been another edition of Animal Plus.
Well, viewers, that's it for Mahoni and Nadari Marine and Wildlife Conservation. And if you want to get in touch with the Centre or Walindi Plantation Resort for anything at all, please pop into our House and Home Facebook page and ask. And then we can give you all the information that you need. There's more coming up after the break, so do not go anywhere. Well, viewers, for this last episode of Healthy Living with Mila, signs Mila off on the House and Home program, but do not worry as I have a surprise for you at the end of our segment. Now, since this is the last of the children's nutritional and exercise plan, let us recap on what Mila has touched from day one of the children's topic. She showed us a simple home meal recipe that your children can try out with how to make a simple natural juice to go with it. She also introduced her guest Ari Mansud to show simple warm-up exercise incorporating boxing moves. And she also showed what kids can do for any of their main workouts involving children's games. And now finally, we will see a simple cool down that every one of us can try out. So have a look and be amazed. Welcome back to another segment of Healthy Living with Miller. Today we're going to start our cool down. When we start our cool down, we're first going to start off with the basic stretches of all the, muscle, the major muscles in our body. First we're going to start off with our calves, where you put one foot out and you bend and you hold it for five, four, three, two and one. Then you move to the other side, straight to that way and five, four, three, two and one. And now we start off with the other leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now move this way at five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go forwards. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now other leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then we hold, we've ex we do it with our quads, we have to balance. Look at something or hold, or hold a friend to make sure you don't lose your balance and we hold that for five, four, three, two, and one. Now other leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to do the side of our body. First we start off with this side. One, two, three, four, and five. Now other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Now straight down. Do it one side. One, two, three, four, and five. And one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna do our back. We have to drop your body and lean forward and push. One, two, three, four, and five. And our and our chest. So we go push out like this. One, two, three, four, and five. And now back up to our stomachs. We stretch up and lean forward. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we go to our arms where we do this. Try and go through and close the gate. One, two, three, four, and five. Now the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Now one hand up and the other one to, do, to lock it in. Pull so you can feel it on your biceps. One, two, three, four, and five. Now the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. And that's it everyone, that's our cool down for all our stretches and all, all, all the different parts of our body. All right, high five everyone. That's it. Hi. <laughs> And 
that is what we're going to give you the final episode of Healthy Living with Mila on House and Home. I would like to thank the children here, especially Mr. John Lohia and the principal of Badi Hagua, Mr. Bala. Thank you very, very much, sir, for organizing these children. They are such a lovely kids, well behaved. And especially, I would like to thank my two uh, assistant, Kamuna and Dylan. And the best one is my buddy buddy in the gym, Mihir, and my co-host, Ariman. Ariman said, thank you and God bless you all. Now with that most appreciation, thank you so much Mila and Ariman for your ongoing support to providing content for the House and Home program. The h h team will surely miss you, but viewers rest assured that Mila will have her own 30-minute program also called Healthy Living with Mila. But not to give a lot away, here's a glimpse of Healthy Living with Mila. Healthy Living with Mila premieres as a half-hour show come February. Mila, along with her co-host Miru, team up to show you the correct techniques to exercise Along with the guest chefs, they cook up quick and easy healthy recipes that are budget friendly. It's all to do with anything and everything on fitness and health. Catch it all on Healthy Living with Miller in February. Now we've come to the end of our program and thank you so much for joining me on the fourth episode of House and Home. If you've missed out on watching on these previous episodes, including part of tonight's show, you can simply visit MTV online and watch. And remember, there's more you can get out from your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday. I'm Godbin Eki, and as usual, on behalf of the House and Home team, have a pleasant night and a safe week. We care about improving lifestyles. Improving lifestyles. It's all about the better man for your life.